Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back. Today I'm showcasing the July card kit by Simon Says Stamp. There is a giveaway on my blog running for this card kit, so if you want to win it, make sure to visit my blog and leave me a comment there. So let's take a look at what's included. First of all, you will get a mini cosmic shimmer, gilded, the color is avocado. This is a paste that includes lots of mica inside for a really gorgeous result. You can apply it with your finger or with your spatula. In the kit this month you will get lots of envelopes, so let me clean up my finger there. And you will get a small white envelope as well as five bigger ones. Two of them are silver and they have a shine on them. And other coordinating colors with the papers. You get three ties, all of these cut out frames or windows or they can be stamps if you want because they have that uh, little detail all around. You will also get the new Distress Oxiding color. If you don't have a speckled deck, the, there it is for you. And here are the papers for this month. Love the color combo, love how trendy and uh, modern they look. And uh, I like that some of them, you can just cut them out and they can make a card on their own. They are nice and thick and this is paper by Waffle Flower. And let's take a look at the stamp set. This one is called Home Sweet Home. This one is packed with sentiments. They also give you a little plane that can carry uh, a couple of banners. And you also get a row of houses, use it as it is or just stamp parts of it. And finally, let's take a look at the cardstock. And these are the four pages that you get. So I will share a card using bits and pieces from the kit. I will start by stamping the row of houses at the very bottom of this paper. I'm using my Misty here and by the way, this is the new Misty which is coming soon. I am going to stamp with a black ink that is um, alcohol friendly. For coloring, I lately tend to grab my alcohol markers that are by Spectrum Noir. These are the three blends. I like that they come in a barrel, three different shades, light, medium and dark. And I find that it, this uh, makes my life easy when it comes to coloring. I can add color quickly without having to look through the stuffs of markers that I have to find what matches with which one. Of course, keep in mind that I'm not big into coloring with alcohol markers. I don't uh, like spending too much time in coloring. I prefer spending my time when I'm creating a card into how I will put things together, how I'm going to design the, the card. And that's why I like this system so much, just because it is so easy and quick. And here is the whole gown ready to go. I used yellows, oranges and pinks to color everything. Just because I like some uh, dimension on my cards, I'm using my scissors and I will go all around the design. I will leave a white border as I'm cutting everything out. Remember that this is fast forward. I am taking my time when I'm cutting out the images like that. And also notice that I am moving the paper, not the scissors. Now I'm also going to stamp the little airplane. I'm not going to bring in my Misty here. I think that is, uh, I can manage with a small image. And I'm also going to stamp one of the banners at the back so that I can uh, create a bigger image. Then I can color it with my alcohol markers again and cut it out with my scissors, just like I did with the town. For coloring again, I will use the markers that I have on my table. I'm not introducing any new colors, so I will play with the markers that I used for coloring the houses. Yellows, pinks and oranges. Down below you will find a list of all the supplies that I used to create this card and I will also link the markers that I used. Make sure to visit also my blog because there is a giveaway for this card kit. So if you leave me a comment, a comment there, you will have a chance to win this card kit. Now again, I'm using my scissors to cut it out, again leaving a white border. And I'm browsing through the pattern papers. I know that there are a couple of pattern papers with clouds. And as you can see, both of them would work, but I decided to go with a darker one. Now I'm going to cut out a strip of this pattern paper. This is about 3 inches. And I'm not going to cover up completely the card base. I just want to have something different today as a design, just to add more interest on a card. This is going to turn it looking wider. Although it is a standard size, that's 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half. The pattern paper will go at the middle, having white borders at the top and at the bottom. 
I'm using my Nouveau Deluxe glue to do that. At the bottom of the pattern paper I'm going to stick the row of houses and I do have foam tape at the back. And then at the top I'm going to stick the plain. I don't need to add a sentiment because the sentiment is already at the banner that says sending hugs. And that completes the card for today. Here are some close-up photos. I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.